right so that top coat of that blue almost seafoam color has dried so what I'm doing is I'm taking 150 grit sandpaper which is a little finer than the stuff I was using earlier and I'm just sanding away uh, at all these little details the floral details the trim right here and you don't have to press real light or you don't have to press very hard at all just keep it kind of light just keep sanding until it shows through and these dark colors that's popping through here is not actually wood but that's the gold spray paint that I did earlier and the reason I sprayed that gold and then put water-based primer and water-based uh, top coat is because the you know those two acrylic top coats the primer and the blue are easy to sand off but that spray paint is oil based it's gonna be really difficult so it's gonna stick really good so when you sand this it will stay so that that's a good uh, idea to try especially if you have like a fake wood piece and you start sanding it you don't want that really light colored you know particle board showing through so you could even spray the whole piece you know black or uh, brown or something like that and then when you sand through it at least kind of look like wood um, but you also don't have to you know if you have a wood piece or even if you want to do metal you could just uh, sand it, prime it, paint it, and then when you start sanding it, you know, the natural wood will show through or the natural metal or whatever. So I'm hit all these areas and get them popping. And I'll hit some of the peaks and edges and, uh, you know, all this little trim piece across. And then I'm also going to hit some of these edges here, but I'll, I'll give you a different camera angle so you can kind of get an idea of what's going through my head when I hit these because I don't just do the entire thing. Um, but I'll show you that next, so stay tuned for that. All right, and then for these rotted out fluted areas here, what I'm doing is I'm just going to sand the edge so that it kind of highlights the outline that will pop out. And then the other thing I like to do is I imagine the mirror as if it had been painted a long time ago and it had been handled a lot. You know, people picked it up, they moved it around. So I try to imagine the spots where it would have been grabbed or maybe touched daily or something like that or maybe someone hung, you know, a hat on it or a coat on the corner. So I'd imagine that edges would get really, really worn over the years. So not only am I gonna hit, you know, the very like corner edges, but I'm also gonna hit some of these flat spots that would have definitely got a lot of heavy use. So you sand them down quite a bit. Kind of like I'm doing here. And just get them really really heavily distressed so an area like right here probably never got touched too much but something like that would have got worn a lot so you want to make it look really worn and old and i'll also do that for the sides and all that and i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done but basically i'm just hitting the areas where i'd imagine someone you know grabbed it to move the mirror or you know something was draped on it every single day and it eventually worn it down so uh, that's one of the little tricks to make it look a little more realistic is just to kind of imagine how it would have been used over time. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done with it. All right, so I got all the sanding done. I basically just highlighted some areas uh, that would, you know, I mean, I know that the floral patterns probably would never get worn that much, but it's just to highlight them. But then like up here, the corners, I made sure to get really good. And I kind of imagine that someone probably always kind of grabbed it right there. So it's worn down a little more. And the same thing for this corner, that one I sanded and then I even scratched it a little bit. Just get it worn down just a little bit more. And the same thing with this side. So I didn't go super crazy with it. Um, just kept it kind of light that way. Um, you know, it appealed to more people. I've tried doing some really crazy stuff before. And, uh, you know, if it was for myself, I think really, really, you know, wild and crazy distressing is pretty cool. But uh, especially since I'm going to be reselling this, uh, just keeping it kind of light is the way to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glazing. And then uh, we'll kind of dirty it up from there and then I'll show you what it looks like.